Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be checking out these three items that I got for free last week. Let's see if any of them work. Okay, last week I got some more free items. I get this fan. I got this Panasonic. Uh, it's just a vacuum cleaner. It's got a dirt sensor in it. Now, these things are filthy. But, let's see if they work. And we've got this um, this Bissell. This uh, carpet cleaner thing here. And we're going to see if they work. This one actually has a heater in it. Now each one has its own little thing. This one, this fan, of course it's missing the handle and it's missing this uh, the uh, knob on here. And this, I've, I've done nothing to these except for this thing. I did, it does, it is a bag, it does have a bag. So I did take the bag out and emptied the bag. It was full, which can be a good sign because apparently it was working when it got when the bag got full but this piece here is broke now I think I can fix that and this is missing the handheld part for this for like doing your the clip in here is for like doing your couches or steps or whatnot it's no biggie if it works okay if it works you know, it should be worth 10 or 15 bucks to somebody. So, let's get you set down here. And we're going to turn each one of them on. I've got these two plugged in to a little extension cord over there. This one I do not have plugged in yet because it's got the ground. And I'll have to take it over and plug it directly into the wall. And uh, because it's got to be grounded because of it use you know you're it's around water and it also has a heater in it so let's set you down here and let's see if they let's see if we can get them to work okay we're going to start you off with the fan and it works all three there's low medium and there's high and there's off okay so that works now let's see if this thing works at least we know the fan works Now what that dirt, it's got a dirt sensor, what that does is if it's green, that, that means there's it's a clean area, which it is fairly clean since we're on the tile. So, but it'll go to red if the area is not clean, so you can keep going over until it turns green. Okay, now we're going to plug this one in, and we're going to see if this behemoth works. And then we're going to check each one of them out individually. All right, we've got them plugged in. Let's, uh, I don't even know how to turn this thing on. Oh, up here. Okay. So it does run see it does have still have water in it so
Okay, so the heater light is coming on. So let's check this thing out and see what we got going on with it. Okay, so hopefully I can do this without making too much of a mess because we are in the kitchen instead of the garage or outside. That is because it is 11 o'clock. It's like 8 minutes after 11 in the morning and it is already 84 degrees with a real feel of 98. So we're staying in here where it's cool. So let's... uh. So, it seems to be all here. see if the beater bar underneath is working. I don't know if that's supposed to turn but it's got two brushes. So let's get you down here where you can see better. Okay. Let's see if these beater bars are working. The brushes. Okay, so those are working. Now we need to see if it'll spray water. I kind of like this, whatever this does. It kind of looks like it's got side pipes on it. So, it's, it's supposed to dry the floor, I think. But let's see if it will push any water through. And it's supposed to suck it up through here. And if you turn this up here, that's for your tools to work. Let's pull this off. Let's check this out. Turn on the latch. Pull and lift here, two on the latch. There it is. And this is where all your your dirty water goes. So, right. let's put this back on here and we'll get you set up on another view and uh, we'll check some more stuff out. Okay, what we got here on the Bissell, on the carpet cleaner, Everything works except for it's not spraying water. So we're going to do another video on how to fix that. I'm pretty sure I know what's wrong with it. So let's move back over to this thing. Now the fan, I may end up keeping this myself. If I do, I'll put a handle on it. And I'll go to a yard sale or a flea market. I'll find an old radio or something or maybe a fan that doesn't work and get a knob. That's no big deal. I think you can even buy them. And what a lot of people didn't know about these things is this hole right here. There's one in each side. What those holes are for is uh, some of these you, you could buy a, a stand for them and that's where the stand would bolt in. You can turn that fan either, you know, either direction. So, let's see if this thing will pick up something. So what I've done is i put a little bit of kitty litter there on the floor. Let's see if this thing will pick that up.
it seemed to pick up pretty good. Um, it's got an automatic floor leveler on it. So I can't like put it down real close. But uh, it did seem to pick it up pretty good. Um, let's see what it does on this thing. guys that works pretty good uh, sounds like it may need some cleaning on the inside it kind of sounds like it's whistling it a little bit usually that's telling you that your hose might have a clog or something in it like that so we're we'll do another video on that too to get that cleaned up so everything works except for the Bissell does not spray so stay tuned for a video on that we're going to get into that and i think we did all right so if i don't keep the fan that should be worth three or four bucks maybe five the vacuum cleaner it should be worth about five and if i can get that bissell cleaner without the attachment i should be able to get 10 bucks out of it you know i mean so there you go guys thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for how to fix the bissell cleaner and uh, remember, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.